Morning beautiful souls, it's Tim Wilde and it's Friday Ascension update time and uh, I'd like to just take a, a moment to wish you all happy Samhain, it's the, it's the pagan festival of Samhain or Halloween tomorrow on the 31st of October and wow the energy is building. We've also got a very um, or a very poignant full moon tomorrow at 10.49 um, UK time so wherever you are in the world just be, you know, you'll kind of have to work out when the full moon peaks but as the, as they say and as this year has gone there aren't absolutely there's no coincidences there's no oh there just randomly happens to be a full moon on Halloween this year of course everything has a very distinct very um very pre-organized kind of cosmic energy target to achieve with this so what what's in store for us we've had a we've had um an incredible week of energies it's um i've if i know a lot of you have messaged me recently and sometimes i do tend to go a little bit uh, a little I, I have to withdraw from from social media a little bit in order to analyze what's going on with the energies and also to deal with my own process as well because as these energies come in a lot of the time I'm I'm bringing them through myself I'm analyzing what's going on with them and what they actually do what they mean for us and where we're going where we're all going with it and mo a lot of the time this is done without analyzing other people's perceptions of what's occurring and the reason why I do this is is simply to make sure that what I'm perceiving about it as, is as clear as possible and and later on what I tend to find is that everybody who is is kind of reporting on the energies who's working for the ascension process we're all work <laughs> behind the scenes we're all we're all pla we're all planning our day's works with each other but when, when we kind of get into the physical world we all draw from the pool and everybody who produces the information it tends to be not the same but in it, it's all drawn from the same pot so i'm just going to tell you a little bit about what i'm perceiving about the the, the particularly this full moon the full moon is very very significant because obviously it's the run-up to the, the the last eight weeks of this year the last um the last period before we do the great the, this great switch or or higher reset into a into a much brighter frequency on the 21st of December. We've got 1111 coming up. I'm running a, a, a one hour workshop on that night. Uh, the, the event details are on my page at the top. But the full moon, I keep, I keep on being shown the significance of what we can and have the potential to create with this full moon tomorrow. It's the fe it's the festival of Samhain is where the veils between the you know like our world and and the worlds around us are at their thinnest, which means the influence of the higher realms is at its highest, but also the influence of the like the cut the parallel realities which might not be carrying such quite a high vibration are also very available, which brings me to the point of being very very careful. Um, or very dedicated or very kind of precise with what you are wishing to create for yourself at the moment. Social media world out there at the moment is absolutely filled with, with you know, stories which are capable of draining your light in, in a, in, by the time you've started reading it, you're kind of hooked into it. By the time you've got to the end of it, you're genuinely, genuinely worried for your welfare, for the welfare of the planet. And, and I'd say probably, hand on heart here, I'd say 75% to 90% of them are not untruths, but they are designed to drop your vibration. I've been saying this all year about social media, you've got to be, and Facebook particularly, you've got to be very careful about what you take into your aura and your fields. Every person you communicate with is an, an, is an energy exchange. That means you are giving part of yourself energetically and you are receiving an exchange. So what's that exchange involving? What does, what energy are you giving out? What energy are you returning to you? Because that then becomes part of your physical, mental, emotional and your spiritual fields. It integrates with your chakras. 
Um, which why sometimes stepping back from your social media, your communications, it's an essential part of what we're doing at the moment. And it gives you the time to ground, it gives you the time to raise your light, raise your frequency. So when this full moon peaks tomorrow, um, you know, 10, 1050 UK time in the morning, um, and whatever time it is in the world, we have the opportunity to set a particular boundary of energy. So what are you going to create with that when, when the full moon peaks? Now the last time this occurred, interestingly enough, was in 1944, which was to the end of the second, which was towards the end of the Second World War. Obviously, you know, the, the, the Second World War didn't officially end until 1945. But 1944 was kind of when pivotal decisions were made and, and things started to really occur. So the way I'm feeling about the, 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 our, our beautiful uh, festival of Samhain and, and the full moon is that it gives us the opportunity as light workers to focus on something very positive, very high frequency and establish it. So that is exactly what I will be doing. I will be switching off from all of the stories that are kind of pouring in the anger righteous anger in a lot of stages you know what are the government doing what what's this person doing what's that person what restrictions are they they imposing and just focusing on what i want to create okay now the more of us that do this the more of us that focus on what it is we wish to see the more rapidly that will occur at the moment i'd say and i'm i'm just i'm just as you know i get just as caught up in this a lot of the time I'm focusing on what I don't want to see in the world or a lot of people are literally they're 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 kind of sharing stories of of things that have genuinely frightened them heads up everybody be worried about this yes we do need to be aware of what's going on out there we need to be two steps ahead of the game at all times but again and I've said it so many times this year adding our energies to a field of anger or to a field of fear is exactly where we have been. This is the party invitation. Come to my third dimensional party, everybody. Get angry, get afraid, you know, like, you know, like worry for your future. And all of a sudden, lo and behold, that field of energy becomes stronger. We've done so much work this year, okay? We've worked diligently on ourselves. We've worked diligently on the, on the fifth dimensional field. We've got this incredible creation, which we are stepping into. Made the analogy previously about moving house from, from a pre-existing home, which we were comfortable in. It might not have been perfect, but and, you know, and in some cases it might have been downright challenging and, and we can't wait to move out of there. And, in, and, and what we're doing is we're moving to this much larger home where it's, it's, the lights are brighter, the decor is, is more appealing, you've got more space to live and move, things are easier. But that transition takes work, okay? You can't be in the, the, the bouncing back between the two from, <laughs> from 3D to 5D takes a lot of spiritual discipline because we're very, very used to one field of energy. Okay, we're very used to the, the third dimensional triggers, the third dimensional vibrations and all of the things that we, we it's, it's, almost, it's almost a comfort zone or, a, or <laughs> almost a discomfort zone. So tomorrow, when the full moon peaks, set aside some time. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be setting myself some time, some energy, and I'm going to be focusing exactly on what it is that I want to be achieving over the next four weeks, the ne next eight weeks. That very necessary corridor of energy, that corridor of reality between now and the 21st of December. Now I've been hearing also a lot about the kind of like the, the imbalances of the Gregorian calendar. I am aware of this. this these are particular energy dates that have been set up in correlation with, with universal events, with full moons. And um, I think at some point in the future, we will actually be returned or I'm already kind of my my days, my weeks, my months tend to kind of be more orchestrated around the lunar calendar, what the moon is doing and the site of the natural, the natural cycles of this planet and the natural cycle of the heavens as well. So, yeah, there's this 
again, it's it's the reoccurring theme throughout this year. Um, vibe high. <laughs> okay, I know, I know there's so many people out there saying it and there's so many people out there also saying be afraid, be, be you know, be kind of terrified about uh, about the kind of the agenda that's being rolled out on the planet. We don't need to worry about what the agenda is because the agenda will collapse under the new frequencies, okay? Whatever, whatever kind of, I'd say in inverted commas, dark agenda that is being kind of visibly rolled out now because the, like the, the, the hidden, the, the shadows that remained hidden on this planet for so many thousands of years have nowhere to go anymore. They're, they're, they're just, they're visible in full daylight. Everybody can see them. Um, the only thing that's kind of like keeping some of it hidden for some people is 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 cogn cognitive dissonance. Now I've tried to say that in a video before, and I, I fell over my words. So cognitive dissonance is the only thing that's kind of running rife in society at the moment, where people are still not seeing what's going on. But with this with this kind of hurried, panicked agenda that's being rolled out everywhere, it never planned for. A higher vibration on this planet and that's what's going on at the moment it's it, like i said before it's like trying to light fireworks in the rain they'll fizz they'll they'll splutter they might you know you might get you might get a few kind of wee rockets off here there and everywhere but ultimately the the rain wins the rain is the rain is powerful the rain is wet and and we'll put the put the put the torches out so focus on the light Focus on what you want to see in the world. Focus on anything, anything that you're not sure about, anything which triggers you, anything that frightens you, anything that pulls you out of centre, bring it into your heart and ask, is that your truth? Okay, is that what you wish to be seeing in your world? Is that where you are going to be living? Is that where you want your vibration to be going? And just stick with it. Okay, it's, it's, it's a case of persistence and it's a case of discipline at the moment. And every single energy in the universe that is coming in for us at the moment is designed to be highly supportive of people who are vibing at a higher frequency it's not a cliche it's not it's not cotton candy spirituality this is energy basics the higher your vibration is the the cleaner the clearer and the more precise and the safer and the more comfortable your world will be because we create everything that we experience within our reality. Everything within our third eye that is projected outwards becomes the biosphere of our reality. And of course, we're sharing that creative reality with a lot of other people around us. And once we've got that higher frequency in our fields and we've got it stable, we've, we've, dis we've disciplined it, okay? That higher vibration then draws everything else around it into its field of, into its field of energy it won't it won't drop to a lower frequency that's not how energy works it does not wish to do that it does not wish to create a lower vibration it immediately pulls up everything else into its higher reality so keep at it okay keep plugging away i know it feels like we've we've had a very very long very challenging period of time this year got another eight weeks of very intensive energy you know what's 2021 going to bring and all all the rest of it Focus on the now moment. Don't get pulled into the past. Don't get pulled into the future. Create for yourselves at this moment in time. Hold your lines, okay? Hold those lines of light. We have made the most incredible progress this year. Like, I've never seen anything like it. You know, we wanted, <coughs> we wanted action, we got it. We wanted change, we got it. We wanted a, a reconstruction of our reality to basically live at a higher frequency. We're getting it, okay? So sending you all loads of love. Happy Samain, happy full moon. I'm gonna be celebrating it anyway. <laughs> the energy's wonderful. And I just hope you can all hear me in my, my stormy, windy garden. Sending you loads of love and I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Bye for now.